During the last 30 years, Yugoturbina has developed into one of the biggest industrial companies in Yugoslavia. Today, the Yugoturbina Association, which consists of 12 business organizations, is responsible for the general overhaul contract for the 664 megawatt turbines and other auxiliary units at Kershko nuclear power plant. The experience gained during the turboset overhaul is of great importance in estimating the effect of individual faults on the plant's operational state. The low pressure upper part of the turbine is dismantled following the stopping and cooling of the turbo set to facilitate the detailed inspection of the turbine internal parts and bladings. In order to enable the removal of the low-pressure rotor, the diaphragm carrier and other parts securing the stator elements are dismantled. One of the most complex procedures is the removal of the low-pressure rotor from its casing and setting it up on a special stand for the purpose of further thorough non-destructive testing and inspection of all the rotating parts. The stator is removed for dismantling and cleaning. A visual inspection of the shape and form of the stator parts is followed by detailed inspection of all the blades in order to detect any possible cracks in them, replace them, and repair other small defects. Damage detected in the rotor and stator blades is carefully marked in order to facilitate repair or replacement. the dimensions on the shroudings enables checking of the clearances between the rotor and the stator due to high temperature elongation. All rotor blades are tested by electronic and chemical methods as follows. Ultrasonic testing, blade natural frequency measurement, and testing with magnetized ferrous powder and penetrating paints. Inspection of blade shroudings using the magnetized ferrous powder method. work being carried out on the high pressure turbine. Checking the radial thermal clearances between the rotor and the stator of the high-pressure part of the turbine. 
and comparison of set values with actual ones obtained by measurement of the blading in the cold state. After dismantling of the high pressure rotor, a visual inspection of the stator blades has to be carried out. Damaged blades detected on the turbine low pressure rotor have to be replaced with new ones. Detailed inspection and measurement precede the replacement of worn out parts in all three sections of the turbine and all auxiliary assemblies, after which assembly work can start. The final inspection and comparison of set values with the measurement report prior to installation of the rotor in the casing. Installation of the low pressure rotor in the casing and reassembly of the lower and upper halves of the low pressure casing. installation of the high pressure rotor in the casing and preliminary alignment of the rotor. Assembly of the upper high pressure part of the casing and tightening of the bolts. Alignment of the high pressure and low pressure rotor coupling, tightening the coupling bolts and checking bolt elongation according to set values. One last check of the elongation of the coupling bolts after final tightening. Following the completion of the overhaul of the turbo set and all auxiliary units, a functional check of the complete control system is carried out. Finally, a detailed inspection of the signalling and security system is carried out, enabling the recommencement of the normal operation of the turbo set. Yugo Turbina have manufactured over 1,300 marine and stationary diesel engines. Great experience has been gained in the design and production of diesel engines for the emergency power sets in nuclear power plants. Up to the time of the general overhaul of the Kershko nuclear power plant, Yugo Turbina had designed and manufactured over 30 diesel sets specifically intended for use as emergency power units in nuclear power plants. During power failures, the diesel units permit the cooling of the reactors and the proper operation of other essential equipment. 99% reliability is required of such engines, so that the engine is sure to start functioning the moment failure of the main units occurs. The engine check starts with the most vital parts, 
where the crankshaft deflection is checked by means of a special measuring device. The spacings between the crank webs of the crankshaft are measured in all four positions. The compression space on each cylinder must be checked. Differences between the measured and the set values indicate a defect in the cylinder assembly, which must be eliminated. measurements taken are recorded in the measurement report for constant control of deformations, on the basis of which adjustments are made during the overhaul in order to reduce such deformations to permissible limits. Turbina manufactured and installed some 30 pumps in the Kershko nuclear power plant. Overhaul work was also carried out on pumps manufactured by foreign companies. These are the multi-stage vertical condensate pumps. They're driven by 1,300 kilowatt electric motors and pump 280 liters per second with a head of 280 meters. The length of the pump is 7 meters and it weighs 6 tons. Repair work included the following. Dismantling and reassembly, clearance measurement, non-destructive testing, leveling and aligning, a visual check, and functional testing of the pump. All procedures and work on the pumps were supervised by the Yugoturbina and Kirschko nuclear power plant quality assurance and quality control services. The results obtained during the work were entered in the appropriate documents, certifying and documenting the quality of work carried out. The contracted work was carried out by the pump works, according to the quality assurance manual as requested by Kirschko Nuclear Power Plant, the regulations of the International Atomic Energy Agency, and on the basis of the long experience and practice which Yugo Turbina has had with similar work. The pumps in the auxiliary feed water system are horizontal multi-stage pumps with axially separable casing. Some are driven by a turbine, some by an electric motor. They pump 23.3 litres per second with a head of 1,023 metres. The essential service water pumps are driven by a 330 kilowatt electric motor, pumping 790 litres per second with a head of 33 metres. The pump length is 12 metres and it weighs 5 tonnes. Tower cooling pumps are manufactured by Yugo Turbina. The pumps are driven by 2,000 kilowatt electric motors and pump 7,500 liters per second with a head of 18 meters. Each pump weighs 18 tons. Many of Yugo Turbina's expert staff were involved in the overhaul of the Kirschko nuclear power plant. 
all work on Yuga Turbina equipment and on foreign companies' equipment installed in the nuclear power plant was completed on schedule. This successful, high-quality work carried out on the first Yugoslav nuclear power plant shows Yuga Turbina's ability to satisfy all the demands presented by the technology of the nuclear age.